let's go over the materials that you need in order to make this little heart project. Now, I'm gonna be cross-stitching onto this stuff, which is the Pellon Sticky Grid and Wash. Um, I got this at my local uh, craft store, but it was $20. So if you don't have a coupon um, and you don't wanna spend 20 bucks on this, if this is gonna be the only time you do this project, you might wanna use waste canvas and waste canvas works uh, similarly but you'll want to pin it into place do your design and then you basically tear it apart you just kind of pull it apart like this so these directions are pretty good this is only a couple of dollars i think maybe five dollars versus twenty dollars but you have like this whole row you have the whole roll okay so two options there the next thing you need are some small pieces of fabric. I printed off this heart template from the internet, um, so you can just find one there and then cut out your two pieces of fabric. And I'm going to be stitching on the pink and that will be the background or the backside. Then you need a small piece of ribbon. We will attach that to have our little door hanger. Here's kind of what it looks like. Ahead of time, this is just me messing around last night while I was kind of figuring out um, these different materials. Um, you want to kind of plan ahead where your letters are going to go because you can see here I sort of inadvertently went up a little bit. You want to make sure that everything is lined up. So on here, I wrote out my girl. I'm going to give it to my daughter. I used this friction uh, pen, which is erasable with heat. So if any of it were to happen to come through on the white, thread, you can iron it away. Um, I used a font that I found online, same thing, and just prepped it ahead of time to make the cross stitching super easy. Then of course you need your thread to stitch. This is pearl cotton number five, which is what I'm going to be using. I really like the texture of pearl cotton five. You can use pearl cotton eight. You can also use embroidery floss. All of those things are fine. You could even use crochet thread if you're a crocheter. And then you need a needle, and I recommend one that does have a point, not a blunt end like needle point. You need more of an embroidery needle with a large enough eye because we want that point to help us pierce through the interfacing. So we'll place our right sides together and sew around and then add our stuffing in. But if you are not a sewer, then you will put the fabric tack glue on a little bit of a bead and we'll do it that way. Okay, so I'll run through that when it's time, but just to let you know, you do not have to have a sewing machine to make this project. So you can cut a piece of pearl cotton. I like to measure it from my hand down to my elbow and make a knot at the end. Okay, so then what I want you to do is when you are doing your text, make sure it's the right size. So when we take the sticky back off, you wanna make sure that you've got enough on outside of the font to sew it together. So this has a papery back and you'll write out your font on the grid side and then take off the paper side and then this is sticky. So when you lay it down, just make sure it's kind of in the right spot. And you will want, you don't want to like leave this on for days and days, according to the manufacturer's instructions. I didn't really notice that it was going to be a big deal, but um, you know, once you put it on the fabric, try to finish it that day. So now I should have used a contrasting pen color, so take it from me. <laughs> if you are going to use a pink background, try to use a different color of those friction pens. Um, it's still visible, but it'll be a little bit trickier to see. So once it's all on here, it's good, it's sticky. Then we will start our cross stitch. Now cross stitch, I'm not like a master cross stitcher, but I do enjoy cross stitching. I like hand work. Um, and the thing to remember about cross stitch is that you wanna try to have 
you know, in your X, so you've got one coming up this way and then one coming up this way, you want to have the same thread on the bottom. So if you're going from the bottom left to the upper right, you want to do that first, and then from the top, the bottom right to the top left as second. So that way, that way your stitch is consistent and the same one is on the top. Okay? So that's just one of those things. It just kind of helps it to make it look extra nice. So you're going to run your needle. You're going to find where you need to come up. Here. And push it back down. And I'll find my next spot. You can see I'm kind of running the needle till I get to the right little intersection. Come up. And then go down. So I'm going to try to have my first stitch be left to right, my second stitch be going coming across. It doesn't matter how, like which corner you pick, but it will matter once you do a stitch next to it. So when you do a stitch next to it, it's helpful to, um, so like I'm going to come to the top right and go diagonal because you want to come up where there isn't a stitch, where there isn't thread already in that hole. You want to go down where there's already this thread. That way you don't pull up any of the threads or get your needle stuck in there and have any of the thread pop out. One second. Okay, so once you get started, then you're gonna just follow along in the same manner with that font that you've already done and cross stitch your text onto the heart. So have fun with this, sit down, watch a movie, and I will meet you back here once I'm done and we'll put the heart uh, little pillow door hanger together. Okay, so here we are. I finished all the cross stitch on my heart. my girl i'm gonna give it to my daughter for valentine's day um and the next thing we need to do is get rid of the interfacing so the first thing that you want to do is trim it off so just take some scissors and you can peel it away up to the stitches Okay, so now that it's kind of trimmed up a little bit, we need to take this over to the sink. And the cool thing is get your warm water running and you put this underneath the warm water and the rest of this will dissolve away. So now our piece is quite wet, so I don't want you to wring it too much because I don't want you to distort your shape of your heart. So we're just going to get some paper towels um, and then you can use a regular towel so we don't use too many paper towels and dry it off. Just get most of the moisture out, and then we can finish drying it with the iron. So the trick with ironing this kind of uh, embroidery or cross stitching is you want to try to iron it from the back and not really press down too much on those stitches so that they don't flatten out. We still want some dimension. So just have a real light touch and get your fabric nice and dry. If it's still a little bit damp in there, no big deal, that will air dry as well. Biggest thing is we just want this dry enough to continue working with it. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is 
put together our little heart. We're almost done. So we've got our back piece and our front piece. We've got our ribbon, and then I went ahead and pulled out some stuffing. You can use this kind of stuffing, or you can use uh, scraps of yarn, scraps of fabric, um, whatever you wanna use to stuff it. We are going to place right sides together. All right, take your ribbon. I ch your, your heart with the cross stitch, the part in the center here, the sides might come in a little bit. So just trim both sides. I trimmed a little bit off my back just to make sure that they're lined up. Then you need your piece of ribbon and kind of place those ends together and we need to put it on the inside of the heart. like so, so that then when we flip it right side out, the hanger is on the right side of our project. All right, so pin this into place and pin any other areas around the heart that you would like to. We need to leave an opening um, in order for us to put our stuffing in. And so I'm gonna put that down here on the side where there's not a point or a point here, someplace where it's gonna be real easy to stitch that closed. So let's head over to the sewing machine. All right, using about a quarter of an inch seam allowance, we are gonna start on the side back stitch. All right, we're back here at the beginning. Let's back stitch. Cut our threads. All right, so now we need to flip it right side out. Now, obviously, it needs a good press. One of these kind of point turner from Clover, I'm not sure the exact name of it, I'll link it in the description. It really is helpful when you are kind of trying to point things out and it's got both of these um, kind of edges. So we can really kind of make sure that everything is pushed all the way out. All right, so let's give it a little bit of dimension and give it some stuffing. So the trick is to start with just little bits at a time and kind of massage it in your hands first. You can decide if you want this super puffy or just a little bit puffy. All right, so we've got it stuffed. Now I'm actually going to take mine over to the sewing machine and do a little bit of a top stitch. I feel like this area is going to be a little bit weak, so I want to reinforce that a little bit more since it's going to be with my daughter who is only six. Um, so I'm going to just run a real close stitch all the way around the outside edge, but you don't have to do that. You can just hand stitch this close and if this needs a little bit of reinforcing because you might need to pull some of the bulk out of that seam in order to get it to um, kind of have the heart shape. Um, so either way. All right, there we have it. Our little cross stitch conversation heart door hanger for my daughter. And of course you can use this cross stitch method on lots of other projects. Happy stitching.